Hello, my name is Dwayne Hinton, and I'm going to show you how to make a PGP key. You may have also heard these referred to as GPG keys. Those terms are used interchangeably within the Ubuntu community, but for the sake of this screencast, we're going to call them PGP keys. Ubuntu comes with a great default application that you can use to make PGP keys through a GUI. We can access that application by going to our system menu up here in the upper left. Click on system, drop down to preferences, and then come all the way down here to passwords and encryption keys. The application opens. We want to click on this my personal keys tab. Now, this lists all the keys on your computer. Probably be empty until you create yours. Now we want to create a new key, so Let's go to File, New. PGP key is the type of key we want to create, so let's select that. Click Continue. Now it asks us for a little information. So let's fill that out. Now, comments are completely optional. Advanced key options, these defaults are very sane and it will work perfectly well for the average user. Unless you know what you're really doing, I would go ahead and just leave these as is. Now let's click Create. It's going to ask us to create a password. You're going to want to create a particularly strong password. Some tips for doing that are using within your password symbols, letters, numbers, and capital and lowercase letters. If you do that, that will ensure you have a particularly strong key. Okay, now after you type in the passphrase, you click OK and it will begin to make your key. This takes a few minutes, so I went ahead and created one already and I have it here. Now that you have your key, there's a few things you're going to want to do one of them is create a backup. You have the only copy of the private half of your key, so if something happens to it, you are going to need a backup. Also, two, you're going to want to create a revocation certificate. This way, if something happens to your key, it gets compromised, you can revoke the key if need be. So to do that, we're going to need the key ID. You can see that here. Mine is E46C03BD. Okay. Let's write that down because we're going to need that. Now let's open a terminal. Applications, accessories, terminal. Okay. And I have a tomboy note here with the commands that we want to use. The first one is going to make a backup of our the public half of our key. That command will be gpg space hyphen a o space mypub dot key space hyphen hyphen export space and then our key ID that we wrote down from earlier. So let's run that. Okay, the second one is going to create a backup of our private key. That command is gpg space hyphen a o space my, my private dot key space hyphen hyphen export hyphen secret hyphen keys followed by our key ID again. So, let us run that. Now, the third and final thing is the revocation certificate. That command is gpg space hyphen hyphen output space my revoke dot key space hyphen hyphen gen hyphen rev oke and then our key id again. So let us run that. And it's going to ask us a 
few questions. Yes, we want to create the certificate. We don't have a reason yet, so zero is fine for no reason specified. It asks us if we want to create a description. I'm just going to leave that blank. Let's confirm. Okay. Now, you can see I've done this in the uh, home directory. So that is where these three files are going to have been created. So if I open my home, I should be able to find my pub key, my private dot key, and my revoke dot key. So let's scroll down here, and here they are. Now I would put these on some backup medium and store them someplace safe or someplace off-site, heaven forbid something tragic happens and you lose your key, you will need these backups. You, that will come in very handy if that happens. So there you go. You now have a GPG key. Get out there and encrypt, decrypt, and sign all the documents you want.